It's Sunday, September 4th, 2011. This is Cliff Potts. Shout out to my daughter. Happy birthday. We're going to continue our discussion with China. As, uh, some notes on the last video posted uh, by the ra uh, excuse me, race mixer. That pretty much trumps what I'm about to tell you. But what I covered in 2007 is still valid. As or just before we entered this recession, China was absolutely dependent upon the U.S. marketplace and primarily Walmart as an outlet for their uh, goods. Uh, there are other outlets, of course, but that's the one I uh, focused on in the book. And when the recession started, China took a big dive as well. The reason for that is they were dependent upon our consumption and not internal consumption. Now, since then, and the one thing I did point out in the book, is that they would have to develop internal markets for their goods and services, primarily their goods. Uh, to date, it's dubious whether or not this has occurred. They've tried it, and uh, there's been a lot of stories since the recession began, or the contagion as they were calling it back in the early days, since it began, about them working uh, through their bank to make loans more affordable and lift up their internal economy. Now, the real problem that China has um, boils down to this. In order to create a stable uh, nation, a stable environment like that, you have to have about 10% of your uh, population has to be considered uh, middle class, which, uh, as pointed out in the book, is dead center between those who are wealthy and those who are in abject poverty. And 10% of the middle class for China is equivalent to the entire population of the United States. And that is a tough nut to crack. So I don't see that China is any real condition to actually become a world-class economy. They're still absolutely dependent upon others consuming their goods. Uh, the other problem with China, one that I don't mention, is a culture, well, I'm not sure if you call it a cultural issue, but a sociological issue at least. Um, it actually has to do with their language and their writing. It's uh, difficult at best to transliterate from Chinese to uh, English and catch all the nuances involved. This is, um, does it make swift communication uh, feasible? So, there you have it. Now we'll continue with the uh, discussion of wealth, women, and war. There's one more thing that the race mixer pointed out that in order to fix the economy, uh, the United States has to go back to a production based economy. I'm not too sure how that exactly is going to happen, but it is something that I also pointed out in Radicals, Religion, and Revelation. Like I told you, a lot of this was uh, long-term, was couched in religious philosophy in that book. But uh, by and large, um, that goes back to Paul's writings, where he admonishes or encourages his followers to work with their hands to show uh, economic progress in the Christian community. So, and that was captured in Radicals, Religion, and Revelation. I'll talk to you later. Thank you very much for your time. Have yourself a good day. Bye-bye for now. The next three chapters in Wealth, Women, and War deal primarily with the United States, and for the most part, I will let you read them for yourself if you choose to do so. Uh, it's called USA All the Way, and then uh, followed by We Won, a discussion of uh, post-Cold War United States of America. And the third one is You've Got to Love the Bomb, which is a discussion on the nuclear arsenal of the United States and just how much it cost us 
to basically defend Western Europe. And uh, I'll let you, like I said, I will let you read those for yourself. It's a little hard to uh, uh, synopsize that in a short video here on YouTube. As far as YouTube is concerned, there's something funny about this. I'm uh, pretty much finding that I'm uh, these videos are, are shouldn't surprise me. It doesn't surprise me, but uh, I'm not getting much viewership on them. What I find uh, really interesting about this is when I broached all this material back in 2006, which is the reason it got written up in 2007, I got nothing but hate and consternation, and I was told that the economy is doing fine, and if there was a problem in the job market with myself, it was my own problem, and I mean, it was nothing but hate. Hate from people that, quite frankly, the group who calls themselves anonymous, who has no leader right now, and never will, uh, functional democracy, would be more than happy to, mm, what do you want to say here, uh, support their right to spew forth uh, defamation of character, slander, and... Uh, like I said, hate. So here we are. It's now 2011, going on 2012, and everything I told you that was going on in 2006 is now dancing across the headlines. And quite frankly, some things I didn't... Well, I don't want to say some things I didn't even pick up on. I picked up on it, but they were so incredibly complicated that any attempt that I had to address them would have been uh, a little outside the scope of my expertise. And yet, even the information I passed on recently about the bankers, suing the bankers for fraud now that things have gone completely out of control, uh, was again predictable and understood that was going to happen. And yes, to some degree, in a chapter on ethics, I, uh, I do at least point to this being the normal outcome, to the type of shifting that we have in our society today. But still, I'm being ignored. Okay, guys, you don't want an old man to be your leader. I understand that. Uh, quite frankly, the feeling's mutual. I don't want to be anybody's leader either. These videos are specifically, for the most part, for posterity. The way I see it, uh, the book will be discovered if it still exists, you know, because it is a, an electronic book, which I'm not thrilled with, by the way, but... That's the way my publisher did things, and I went along with it, and I made the decision to use uh, WordTex as a publisher. I was uh, under the impression that uh, we could somehow get them printed, but it was evidently not going to happen. Anyway, um, figure in a generation or two, somebody might stumble across my work and it'll become a footnote in somebody else's history of this era in the United States. That's the best I can hope for. Yeah. Too much of what happens on the net in general is based on, uh, again, what net denizens would like to call democracy. You know, uh, if something is popular, then it's well known. But I have news for you people. Just because something is popular doesn't make it true. <clears throat> I mean, Lady Gaga dressing as a man is popular right now. Does that mean she's a man? No. You figure it out. And yeah, I do have a certain disdain for popular culture. Hell, I just chewed out somebody for cussing me out because he thinks the Patriot Act 
is uh, a license for our government agencies to murder us in the streets. Now, it may very well be, but having studied that in some of my coursework, it has yet to manifest itself that way. The point, as I said, is in 2006 and 2007, I warned you that these times were coming. The only thing that's left to say now is that we will make it through it. I wish you well. May your God go with you. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.